Uh, it is New Year's Day, so Happy New Year's to everyone. Um, hope everyone had a great day, and uh, I went to see Wreck-It Ralph with the family, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, it's very, very cold out here. Let me show you the thermometer. Freaking A, guys. It's uh, 20, about 20, 20, 21 degrees. Freezing my butt off. But what are you going to do? i got to get some things done, you know? Can't let it stop me. It's winter. It's here. Uh, drinking uh, Founders Breakfast Stout Double Chocolate Coffee Oatmeal. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Um, I got sick of cutting with, uh, with my electric angle grinder. It's just, it's really big and heavy and unwieldy. So I, uh, got a little chuck, collet, whatever you want to call it, for my, uh, die grinder so I can put cutting wheels on it. Uh, so it's my intention tonight to, uh, cut a few sheets of uh, strips off this, uh, the steel sunroof cut out and uh, do some welding practice. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Alright guys, I'll show you what I'm working with here. It's my little portable welding table, if you will. It's just a big old piece of, I think it's a quarter inch uh, plate. Uh, so just a nice long seam. I want to try about three different settings in this, uh, in this section for tonight. Uh, Where'd my other sample go? So this was um, this was uh, A six A voltage wire feed six looked good on one side but not enough penetration. Some of the guys said uh, uh, slow down the wire feed. Some of the guys said slow down the wire feed and boost the voltage. Um, so I think the first thing I'm going to try and probably what I'm going to see the most success with is um, is to uh, do that, slow it down and boost the voltage. So that's what I'm going to start with. Let's see if I can get this in the camera pretty good. My new tripod action. So you guys, I could never done, have done that before with my iPhone without this little tripod. So Handy little gift I got. All right, let me get this cleaned off a minute. My little knurled brush wire wheel. This thing's pretty handy. Alright guys, our first setting is B4. Oh, and uh, uh, my friend Dave had mentioned uh, get yourself an auto darkening helmet. This is, um, it's just really dark here, even though I've got four fluorescent lights above me. Blind as a bat, guys. It looks like, guys, at this PSI that the uh, Valve's not working real good. I don't know, it's just letting air out right now. If I boost the pressure up a little bit. That's still not. So 
So I guess I'll uh, do this quick. I'm also going to put more angle on my. Uh... Oh, not stopped. I'm going to put more angle on my uh, my welder here. I was at too, too too shallow an angle before. I need to be a little bit more direct on it. So I'm going to try that tonight too. So settings are B4, a little less uh, argon, and uh, we're going to go a little bit more angled on it. And then I'm going to try A4 after this. I'm blowing through, guys. Well guys, uh, I'm blowing through a little bit with the settings on B. The welds don't look bad where I didn't blow through, but you can see I blew through there. She's not focusing real good. There we go. So... Let me try, uh, right, this will be A4. I still feel like I still feel like I got too much of an angle, so I'm gonna do another bead with a little straight up and down angle. Looking better. I'm going to do one more with the B4 setting. This time I'm going to go a little bit more vertical with it. Having some problems with my... I guess I'm going to have to take my hat off. B4 again. through. 
Alright guys, let's see if I can get this on camera. B4 blown through. B4 again. Oh jeez. Focus! This phone you gotta tap on the screen to focus, so. Alright, B4 again. Blowing through. A4 with some angle. Looks pretty good. A4 straight up and down. Looks pretty good. Let's look at the uh, penetration. Now, the problem here is there's paint on the back. Maybe I should have cleaned that off first, huh? Let me buzz that off with the... Uh, Well, it looks to me like that A4 setting is the magic number, guys. We got good penetration there. And then the B4 obviously penetrated. I think A4 looks to be pretty good setting. Tell me what you think, guys. I actually like this one the best, I think. I'm going to grind that down and see how it looks. You know, I mean, I didn't go through and fill in all the little spots. Obviously, I just did this quick. Um... If it were a final piece, I would have taken more time in, uh, you know, making sure I got all the little spots in between. But, uh... I think that, after grinding, that one probably looks even better. Because this one, you know, it's a little loose down here. Which, you know, if I was taking more time, I don't think it'd be an issue, but... That one is just a really solid looking weld. So that would be this one. So what I'm saying looks like the better weld now. Good penetration. All right, guys. That's it for tonight. It's cold. I'm going in and drinking my beer. So let me know what you think. Give me some feedback, guys. You experienced welders. Tell me if you think that looks like. I mean, to me, this these both really look like. Um, you know, if I had taken a little more time with them, they look like they penetrate okay, and they look like. You know, they look like they could they could be um, good finish welds with, you know, a little more practice and a little more care instead of just doing cookies. But I think that those settings look like they... And I think this is 18 gauge because it's rough metal. I don't have one of those little metal gauge measurement things. I should get one. A lot of tools I should get, but... <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, the 20 gauge... Um, if I use any 20 gauge, um, we'll probably, um, I'd probably want to go to A3 maybe, but if I do, I'll, uh, practice on that first, so. Give me some feedback, guys. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a merry, happy new year, and, uh, um, in case you're wondering, um, I got a couple resolutions. Um, first off, uh, Sorry to tell Jerry this after I just told him. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to be quitting this video game I play called World of Warcraft. It's uh, too much of a time sink for me right now. Um, I just, I play it and I enjoy my time on it and then I get done and I feel like, geez, there's three hours I could have done something productive. Uh, so one of my things is uh, I'm quitting that game. I'm also going to try to lose some weight. I'm on the... Uh, 
um, the beer and tortilla chips diet. Hopefully that works out for me. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I, I want to uh, be more productive with my time. I want to um, be the best father I can be, and I want to lose some weight. And those are kind of the... Oh, and I want to finish the Bible this year. I only did a third of it in 2012, and uh, I can do better. So those are my big things, my four big things. Read the Bible, lose some weight, be a better dad, and uh, be more productive with my free time. So if you guys uh, got any uh, um, resolutions, throw them my way. I'd like to hear them. That's it, guys. Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. See ya. Oh, and as a quick aside, I just wanted to say that this welding tank is turning out great. Um, somebody did mention, uh, oh, j just to give you some uh, final setup images, um, I did uh, sniff that end off the tube and I put a hose clamp on it and went right under the barb fitting. It worked great. It doesn't leak. Uh, and then somebody asked me, you know, Make sure you secure it. I did secure it. I got some, um, some. Uh, it's rubberized, you know, rubber coated steel, steel uh, um, rope. And uh, between that thing and that thing, it sits pretty tight in there. Um, and then I got a piece of wood in the front. And then these are just uh, attached with little, um, little clamp on fittings that go on the end. So. It's uh, it's in there pretty good. Oh, Jesus. There goes my beer. Son of a bitch. It's in there pretty good. So, oh, what a waste. All right. Thanks, guys.